Good morning, y'all. What's going on? It's another day in the RV life. Life with kids that have too many friends and they're out playing. And life with a family that needs some eggs. So I'm gonna get started with cooking some eggs. Starting a little bit better with my dishes in my sink today, wouldn't you say? Put away the clean ones, wash up a few real quick before I start on the eggs. And then uh, I'm hungry. We tried something cool yesterday, which I will do again and show you guys again in the future, and that is I baked potatoes in here with unsalted butter and garlic powder, and then we put our over easy eggs on top of the potatoes so the yolk would just kind of drain down into the potatoes, and then put some sliced avocados and sprinkled some lime juice on it. It's like we're trying to be healthy or something. Uh, we watch a guy on YouTube named Dr. Eric Berg, and he has some amazing advice for trying to be healthy, get healthy, get your what you're eating in line. And he said if you're having a uh, sodium is too high and you're dealing with issues of sodium being too high, one of the things you need to look at is increasing your potassium intake. So we're going to start there. We are going to decrease sodium. When we saw that a can of chili has almost 2,000 milligrams of chili, or sodium, we're gonna start cutting that down. So, but there's a lot of places that have decent sodium, like say uh, serving a cheese is 200 milligrams. We don't necessarily need to take that out, cut out all the chili, but start adding in potassium. And potatoes have a massive amount of potassium. Apparently, according to Dr. Berg, I'm not the doctor, he is, uh, low potassium levels can have a lot of effects where it says your sodium intake's too high. He's like, well, raise your potassium levels. We're gonna try that out. But as of right now, it's a little bit late already. Everybody's hungry and it takes over an hour to cook some potatoes, so I'm just gonna do eggs and avocados for right now. Maybe we'll have potatoes later today. I'm just curious how this music is gonna sound. Can you even hear me? I'll find out later when I'm editing this video. That's Tanya's Mega Boom. It's amazing sound out of this little device. It's waterproof, she can use it in the bathroom. Yeah, we like it. I'm just jamming out. I like to get pumped up when I'm uh, cooking, washing dishes. Gets me ready to, ready to move. Kira, are you gonna have some avocado? Mustard. You're gonna have avocado and mustard? Yeah. Let's try it. They're out here in the shade. Actually, Kira's doing her phonics lesson and mom's hanging out with her. Finished. You just you finished? And... Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, I gotta go cook my eggs, but. Yes. Oh, I got a little bit of hot sauce on it. Oh, oh no. no, not the hot sauce. Right. Two happy customers. Now it's my turn. So I promise not to enforce this on everybody, but I decided so that I could cut down on paper plates that I would at the very least try to take care of washing my own plate. Maybe I'll convince one of the other family members to join me in that uh, crusade.
Yum, yum. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I will catch up with you after I'm done eating. Kaylin just came back from playing basketball and hanging out with her friends and she was hungry and I made her on the spot guacamole. I didn't have all the ingredients, but I had some jalapenos. I know the recipe for Chipotle's official guacamole. Uh, you can send bribes to, no, just kidding. I wouldn't take bribes. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. Okay. Let's take a moment to talk about music. Music is a big deal. You can regulate your mood with music. You ever thought about that before? When you put on something really upbeat, how do you feel? What goes through your mind? You ever put on something sad and depressing? How did you feel? What runs through your mind? Same with like a romantic song. You can position yourself in how you're thinking about what you're doing for the day based on the kind of music you put on. A lot of people will just throw the radio on and they're letting somebody out there dictate how they feel today. To me, that's a little bit crazy. Now, if you enjoy the music that I'm playing today, this is Epidemic Sound. It is a service that allows for me to provide music on YouTube without getting any copyright claims. If I use music that you probably were more familiar with, I would probably have to share any potential money that I make with the musicians. But by paying for Epidemic Sound, I pay about $15 a month. I can use it throughout my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram without getting into any issues. I have found a number of artists I never would have heard of before that I really enjoy their music. Back to setting the tone, setting the mood. When I'm ready to clean the house, I'm sorry, clean the RV, make some eggs, wash some dishes, I like to put something upbeat on because it puts my heart and my head into a mentality of, I'm going to war with dirt. I'm gonna wash some dishes. I wouldn't put on something that was chill, laid back, relaxed. Now, this song is a little bit more relaxed, but I'm also done washing the dishes. So now I can just sit down and chat with you for a minute. Now the same thing can go for the words that are in your music. I was very guilty of not listening to the words, just paying attention to the beat, but those words were still hitting in the back of my mind. Tanya was much better at that. She'd call me out and be like, hey, I don't think you should be listening to this. Especially you shouldn't be listening to this around the kids. I've gotten better at that over the years. I still slip up sometimes and be like, yeah, that's my jam from back in the day. And I'm like, oh wait, they're saying things in this song I probably shouldn't be listening to. So you gotta be careful of that kind of stuff because it can put your mind in a place that you don't necessarily need to be. If you're somebody that's not in a romantic situation right now, you might wanna not listen to romantic music right now. Just let that sink in. You can make a choice on the music that you play. Get a service, get YouTube music, get epidemic sound, pick out things where you can pick the music and then you can help dictate how your day is going to go. Don't let some guy on the radio or girl or whoever pick the music and set the tone for your life and how it's going to go. And if you're interested in Epidemic Sound, you don't even have to necessarily pay for this stuff. I have found the artist in the other services. This artist is Ui, O-O-Y-Y. He is out of Norway or Sweden, I forget the country, and he just makes these kind of techno-like beats that I enjoy. Since I found him on Epidemic Sound, I can find him on YouTube Music or Spotify. But Epidemic Sound just kind of helped me to find these new artists that I'd never heard of before, which I thought was pretty cool.
You need a towel. Your towel is hanging up. And Kaylin's in place. Oh, maybe you should. Well, you always go in there as her buddy. Hey, Tanya. You want me to uh, set up your bike for you so you can ride around? This is the way. She's too tall for that. Her legs won't fit. So they make this little seat kit that you can get where a cushion seat goes there and then there's a little handlebar that comes up for the kid as well as little pegs right there. And our friend Callan, who is 12 years old, he actually sat back there and I gave him a ride back. Kira wants to sit back there, but Kira is very tall and I don't know that her legs would fit. You wanna try it? We saw someone's e-bike with this cool seat on the back. Yeah. Uh, your friend Hensley has it. Or had it. No, I don't not, know. Not like the cushion. Like it had a different seat? Yeah. Well, come I over here it. and show us. Because I don't think, I think your legs are too long. I'll hold on to it. Now, can you pick your feet up and put them on those pegs? And then you would have the handlebar Put your hands like right behind the back of the seat. Not there, but in front of you. In front of you. Right, up. Like grab, there you go, right there. So the handlebar would go like right there. You would feel comfortable riding like that? I would feel comfortable riding like this. I feel like if it's too long, you see how much your knees are bent? Yeah, see how your knees are almost touching the pedal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually that's, that's true. Cause if your mom were to pedal, like I could do it without pedaling. But if we had to pedal all of a sudden, oh, true. I could have to pedal. Right. So, but I also don't think you'd be very comfortable for very long. All right. So you two, you taking Kira to the bathhouse? Yep. You have clothes. What are you gonna do? Ride bike. mom's bike? No. Do you have washcloth? This thing's kind of yeah. little too big. Yeah. It comes down about an inch. How do you even start it with the key? How do you start it? Yeah. With well, the key. once the key is in, the power goes on here, and then you have the power, and this right here is the throttle. If you're not pedaling, you pull that back, and then it goes. Like you just hold it back. Uh huh. And then you go forward. Does it go like really fast? Yes. I've gotten it as fast as 20 miles per hour. I would go through Jellystone at 15, and the speed limit for cars was five. <laughs> well, this isn't a car. I know, but I probably shouldn't have been going so fast. Yeah, you should probably have gone to five. It's March in Texas, and I'm like dripping sweat. <laughs> it's humid again. Can you feel the humidity? You feel? You Feels feel... moisturizing. Moisturizing? Yeah. Kira, I think, has a new word for us there. Moisturizing? Moisturizing. Moisturizing. <laughs> I like it. I can feel like fog. So if I, you look up at the clouds, you just see fog? Yes. You're right. When it's, it's the clouds. when it's foggy, the clouds come down yeah. to the road. I helped Daisy to get on stuck. Good girl. Oh, your good girl, Daisy. Painting the other wheel? Yep. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go go and then I'm gonna go again tomorrow on the on that wheel. Just keep painting them until it looks nice and pink how you want it? Yep. Awesome. Bella! Okay, okay. I went 20 miles for <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. 
20 miles is pretty fast. Use your fan. The kiddos get a little bad about turning the fan on while they're showering and then, yeah, you, you don't want that water building up. That's bad for your RV. It's bad for your house too. Honestly though, these fans, so much better than any fans we've ever had in a house. Gets the smells out, gets the humidity out, does pretty good. All right, y'all, thanks for tuning in to another daily vlog. It's the end of the day again. I appreciate y'all watching our videos. Uh, once again, if you're interested in Epidemic Sound, I do have a link down in the description you can use to go check it out. And in the meantime, just remember, life happens. Don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.